Do you know what this is? It's a jack-in-the-box. And I've always wondered, how do these actually work? So today, I'm going to unbox this and we're going to try to work it out. Go in. There we go. Hi, I'm Maddie, and a bit later on, I'm going to show you how you can make your own one of these. But first, let's work out what we already know about Jack in the Boxes. We know that it's a box, and on top of the box, we have this lid. It's kind of like a flap that we know pops open. And at the moment, it's being held closed by this little latch. And if I want to, I can force the lid open by releasing the latch myself, a little bit like this. Eee! And when I do that, the lid opens and the jack pops out. The jack could be lots of different things, but in our case, it's this little clown character. So if I pop that back in, we also know there is another way we can make the box open, and that is by winding this handle. Jack in the Boxes can play different songs, but traditionally they play a song called Pop Goes the Weasel. I actually found the lyrics, so I'm gonna to try to sing along. And I want you to notice at what point in the song the Jack in the Box pops open. Okay, ready? Half a pound of tuppany rice, half a pound of treacle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> so did you notice how the Jack popped out of the box on the word pop? We know that there is some kind of relationship between this winding handle, the word pop when the song plays and the latch releasing to open the lid, which means the jack can pop out. But to find out how all that is actually working, I am going to need to cut the Jack in the Box open and get a good look inside. Jack in the Boxes have been entertaining us for a long time, over 500 years in fact. Although legend has it, they were originally made to trap demons, which may be why they used to look a bit scary. In French, they're still called devil in a box. But of course, we know that's not true. They still make us jump, but these days they look much friendlier. I'm using these scissors to open up the box a little bit like a can opener because it's made of metal, but these are very sharp, so you do not want to do this at home. I'm gonna have a peek. Woo! Okay. Oh! Wow! How cool is that? Right, let's take this apart and see if we can figure out how it works. The edges were a little sharp, so I just put some tape over them to avoid any accidents. I think that I can just yank the the tube out of the Jack in the Box. So this is the pop-up part and it's, it's actually really simple. So as you can see, we have our Jack here that is attached to a spring inside the tube and it's just all literally being held together by sticky tape. If I push the Jack down into the tube, I'm actually squeezing the spring that it's attached to. I'm compressing it. And in this position, the spring is full of stored energy. It's actually pushing back up, wanting to be released so it can return to its original shape. It's being held in place, usually by the lid of the Jack in the Box. But if the latch is open, then the spring and the Jack actually pushes the lid open. So that's what's happening here. But what about the musical latch mechanism? So when I wind the handle, I'm actually turning a long rod that has some grooves on the end of it. Now, as I wind the handle, those grooves are catching these little teeth that are going around the edge of a small gear. And if I move the gear, the gear itself will move a cylinder. So I'm actually turning a cylinder round and round as I wind the handle, like this. But what's making the noise? Well, the cylinder is covered in these little bumps that are called pins, and those pins catch onto this sort of metal comb. So when I wind the handle, the cylinder turns and the comb plucks those metal pins, and that's what's making the sound. But to make the lid open, can you see that there's almost like a black pointy out bit at the end of the cylinder? Well, that's about to catch on the latch. So when I play the word pop, look what happens. Oh, 
that black pointy part caught on the latch and that can open the lid. But in this instance, the lid didn't actually open because there wasn't the spring inside ready to push it open. So without the jack and the spring inside, it's kind of just a music box. Whether a jack in the box looks like this or this, the spring and simple mechanism inside the box has been the same for years. However, you don't need a factory or special machines to make and test one yourself. You just need some creativity and a little science know-how. Let's get making. First, find yourself a box from the recycling. Any shape is fine as long as it has a lid. You could even make your own. Now to make the spring, fold some sheets of paper in half, then again, and again. This will create long, thin strips. You can use the folds as your guide and carefully cut yourself a few strips with scissors. To make the spring, glue the ends of two strips together and start to weave the paper. You do this by folding one over the other and keep repeating it. You need the spring to be long enough to pop out of your box, so you might need to glue more strips to the ones you're weaving to make the spring long enough. The trick is to weave them really loosely so the spring stays bouncy, and when you're done, it looks a little bit like a caterpillar. Now take your box and decorate it however you like. I've just used some coloured paper and a pack of cards I got from a Christmas cracker. I've also cut a little bit of cardboard and stuck it to the lid to help me open it. I'm using the Joker as my jack, but you could draw your own. Just make sure it fits in the box and that it's not too heavy because you don't want it to squash the spring. Glue your jack to the spring, check that it's the right length and now stick it inside the box. Press it down, just like the compressed spring we saw in the other jack in the box. Close the lid, and when you're ready, open it up and watch it pop. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> yep, that definitely worked. I actually think I've made the spring too long. That is so springy. That's so much fun. If you give this a try, what kind of jack-in-the-box are you going to make? Whoa! You could make, I don't know, a dinosaur, an astronaut, maybe even a superhero. But you should definitely give it a try. One more time for good luck. Okay, three, two, one. Hey! <laughs> so today we found out how jack-in-the-boxes work. We learned that springs can store energy when they're compressed and we even made our own. If you enjoyed this video, please do ask a grown-up to get in touch and let me know what videos you would like to see next. What should we find out? What should we unbox next time? Just let me know. And if you enjoy finding out how things work, then please do consider reading my new book, How Does It Work? It would mean a lot to me. Details on where you can get hold of the book will be in the description box below. Now, stay curious, subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you soon. Bye.